Hello and welcome to a special edition of The Track. Today I've invited Brian Holland and Tori Williams to join me. They were two of the first guests we had on The Track and we're going to take a behind the scenes look at what it was like to film one of those early episodes. But before we do that, let's take a quick peek at the episode. Hello, I'm Dennis Howard with RDO Equipment Company. I'm here today with Brian Holland, the sales manager for Compact Construction Equipment for RDO Equipment Company in Texas, and Tori Williams, the sales manager for Compact Construction Equipment in Arizona and California. Guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate thanks for having us. Tori, what is Compact Construction Equipment? So the easy answer is uh, compact excavators, compact wheel loaders, skid steers, and compact track loaders. So the, the first time the three of us were on camera together, we were in, it was October, and we were in Minnesota. Two Texas boys and an Arizona boy in October in the Fargo in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, and it was cold. They told us it was unusually cold, but I don't, I, I think it's just that cold. We thought we were going to shoot outside. This is going to be miserable. I'm originally from Fargo, right? I spent 27 right. years of my life there. So I came back with, you know, a, a, an RDO sweater on. I, I didn't want to wear a jacket, no gloves, no nothing, and realized uh, pretty quick that, that my blood is not as thick as it used to be. And uh, I was rather cold and ready to go home. <laughs> it was apparent once we got to Fargo, we were not going to be able to shoot outside as we had planned. So what did we do? We adapted. You know, as we've learned early on in the, shooting the track, you better be willing to change and adapt. We went to the Moorhead store. We set up a studio, almost a studio, inside the showroom. The, the team members at the mortgage store were very gracious, very kind, gave us room to where we needed, came by, said hello, waved. Uh, customers came by and said hello. It was a lot of fun. Turned out really, really well. It wasn't what we planned, but we really enjoyed it. When we were at Fargo Moorhead offices for inventory, I think is what we were there for, trying to figure yes. out our, our year-long inventory strategy. And then uh, while we were there, we decided to, make a track video or two. So we started the track, we didn't have guests on there, it was just me. It, it was just gonna be one used equipment video and then it kind of got its legs and now we're doing a lot of informational videos about the industry. It's funny how the idea of having guests on the track, it really came out of a unique opportunity. We were all in Fargo for a meeting, got talking about how Brian and Tori do the same role in different parts of the country, but I, I bet the customers would be interested in hearing about that. So we said, why not shoot a track video about it? And we did, turned out great. We're all good friends. We all got a great rapport. So it was really a good time. I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Two of you together was the first group we did. And uh, it's kind of just gone from there. But that was, uh, that's really what kind of launched it with people being on the, you know, there's a lot of guests on the track right now. So y'all, your stardom helped launch the track to where it is today. The information that y'all shared on that video, I always uh, tease and laugh, and uh, you know, Tori. I always tell people, you know, Tori and me are the same counterpart. I'm in Texas, in the Southwest. And I say, Brian and I are, are so similar in some aspects, and so different in others, uh, which is great um, because he's got, uh, you know, stuff that he knows that I don't, and, and vice versa. And we we tend to talk quite a bit. Uh, regions are very similar yet different at the same yeah. time, and we we do a lot of inventory sharing back and forth and so getting getting together with with brian is always fun because uh, we can talk about the markets and and what he's doing to drive the business out there and what uh, we can maybe take from him and vice versa and it's been a it's been a great relationship the fun thing about it though is like bringing people like you on because people really don't want to just hear me talk but they they like to hear what you have to say so people that watch the videos learn and like what they're seeing so i, I really you know appreciate you guys making the time to be on multiple episodes now and and uh, and be available and, and promoted and it's it's really nice to hear the stories about customers that are talking to you because they've seen it so i've always called dennis hollywood howard from now on but it is a <laughs> he is in front of the camera and just starting them off and talking and going with it so he is no longer Dennis. It is now Hollywood Howard from here on out. <laughs> it is pretty funny because he's been with RDO a long time. He's worked in a couple regions. And, and now that he's got this Hollywood Howard uh, self-proclaimed nickname for, for Brian and I, it's been kind of funny because uh, pre-COVID when we were still traveling, um, you know, Dennis and I were together at Con Expo in, in Vegas in, in early March, right before COVID happened. And a couple of times before that and and we'd walk into a room and somebody would walk up either from another manufacturer or a customer or even a competitor of ours and would walk up and go hey hey you're that guy you do those videos on the track and uh, that if brian 
and I were there, we said, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this is Hollywood Howard here. I had some people with John Deere come to me and that I didn't know and asked me about it. So yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people watching it and uh, hopefully they're getting good information out of it and getting a little entertainment anyway. Yeah, those two guys, like I said, were, were friends and we worked together for a while. So they, uh, they felt like they had to give me a hard time. So they gave me a nickname, uh, Hollywood Howard. They've, uh, they've enjoyed calling me Hollywood Howard everywhere they get a chance. And it's been kind of fun. I never thought it would last as long as it did, but it, it seems like it's going to stick. Brian even got me a cup that said Hollywood on it. So uh, I guess I'll be Hollywood Howard for a while. Doesn't, doesn't seem to fit me, but they think it does. And it's really doing what we what we hoped that it would do. And, and now we're starting to get uh, more views and then more calls into the stores. And we're having customers uh, really go, hey, I saw this on the track. Can you do this for me? One example of that was uh, we released a, a dozer undercarriage video with, I think, Jake Mast and Dennis here a couple weeks ago. And, and just showing, especially during COVID times, uh, you know, we're still here. We're still selling equipment, even though sometimes we can't be in person. We do these high quality videos to shoot undercarriage if that's your request. And so uh, it's been fun to see that come into the stores. And we had a guy last week that saw the video and, and requested us to go out and, and take some pictures and film the undercarriage of a, of a track loader based on that video. So it's been it's been pretty awesome to be able to kind of morph uh, during COVID times and, and really see these videos take off and still be able to support our customers. The industry might have slowed down a little, but it seems like the CCE product line it's still a hot commodity out there and people are they're still buying them so it's uh we gotta be on our feet and going every day if we got some customers out there watching the videos make sure to comment on them let let us know what you think and if there's something that you want us to cover put it in the comments and, and we'd love to try to make a video around it for you we would love to have that and if you want to be on if you're a customer and you want to be on the track and you've got a great story we'd love to talk to you about that also thanks guys i appreciate the time this was a lot of fun and we'll talk soon I look forward to seeing right, thanks, it. Thanks, everybody. Compact construction equipment. It was relevant then and it's relevant now. We were in Fargo and Moorhead just because of compact construction equipment. We were trying to figure out how to grow the business. The business has been growing ever since. It slowed down a little bit during the uncertain times, but not much. It's really kept growing. It's been a very bright spot in what's been going on in the industry lately. Thanks for watching the track. Go back to the YouTube channel in January and you can watch the original episode to its entirety. You can also watch some other episodes about compact construction equipment that we filmed after that. Thanks for watching the track. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Be safe out there. Subscribe to the track on YouTube. If you have questions, connect with me on social media or go to audioequipment.com slash the track.